So we're here with uh, Judy Clark from the Friends of Parker Tavern. Judy, welcome. Thank you for Thank joining you. us. Thank you for having us. So tell me what the Friends of Parker Tavern, what it's all about. Okay, first of all, the Friends of Parker Tavern is the new name that we've given the group because it used to be the Reading Antiquarian Society, which is still our official name, but when you say that, nobody knows what you're talking about. <laughs> and, and can't spell it either, right, probably. That's right, right and they can't yeah. spell it. So Parker Tavern <laughs> is our main... Um, that's all we that's what we are is Parker Tavern. We take care of Parker Tavern. Parker Tavern became a historical place at around 1910 to 15. It was going to be torn down. It was being lived in. There was no plumbing, no electricity, and it was going to be torn down. So a group of people got together, formed the Reading Antiquarian Society, and started to restore it as a museum, as a house museum, depicting life in Reading. And one side of the house depicts life in the 18th century, the colonial times, and the other side of the house depicts life in the 19th century, uh, as people lived here in Reading and in the area. So the mission of the group, the Parker Tavern group, is to keep the tavern uh, you know, going, to take care of it, to repair it when it needs repairs. Uh, we have an addition that was put on in the 60s, where uh, caretakers live right now. We have a young couple living there, and they live there rent-free, but they have to give the tours on Sundays. We're okay. open every Sunday from May to October, from 2 to 5, and they give the guided tours. Also, they take care of our, our website and our Facebook page and updating our collection and getting it all on um, digital form because of course it started out being all index cards yep. <laughs> and so and there's many many pieces there what you see when you visit the tavern is just kind of the tip of the iceberg because stuffed in every drawer and closet and cabinet is more more things that people donated everything that's there has been donated by people mostly people from Reading or with some association with Reading so the goal is to have the museum keep it alive keep it going and our other goal our other mission is to provide programs and activities relating to the history of the area uh, and so we have different events that we sponsor we we don't charge anything for anything we're completely self-sufficient uh, when the group was formed there was a, an, a, an endowment established so we have that invested and we use we try just to use you know the interest from that but we sometimes have to use the principal when something sure. big comes sure. up and then we have a membership of about a hundred uh, households okay. it's only eight dollars to join or ten dollars for a family and then of course you accept donations as well okay uh, there's a board of six people right now. We really need to expand that. All of us are getting up in years, and uh, as everything around is kind of like that, I suppose, a lot of organizations are. So what we need to do is try to get some more people involved in, in you know, being on the board and coming up with ideas for events and so on and so forth. Um, we've had a number of different events that relate, as I say, to the history. Not too long ago, we had a, a group called the Gravestone Girls, and they, they, they went through the whole cemetery here mm -hmm. in town mm -hmm. and um, took pictures because our cemetery depicts all phases of cemeteries through history from colonial times to modern times. So therefore they could picture, take pictures of the stones that came up with a PowerPoint that described the history of, of uh, cemeteries using our cemetery as a, you know, a guide. And we did that through a, um, a grant from the Cultural Council. And we've had four colonial fairs. The fourth one actually is this Saturday uh, from 9 to 3 at the Tavern. Mm -hmm. And it is a colonial fair, which means a group, the 2nd Massachusetts Regiment, uh, Revolutionary War Regiment comes and sets up an encampment. They'll have cook tents, they'll have the doctor sent, they're gonna have a blacksmith, a carpenter. Oh, nice. They drill the children with wooden rifles on how to be Minutemen, and they fire their muskets. Nice. And we nice. also have a cannon that uh, is from the 18, 1800s, which we recently were able to have a shed built for us by Home Depot so that we have our shed on site and we'll have that on display. Was that a, was that a fundraiser to raise that the funds for that for Home Depot? I remember seeing Actually, that. Actually, no, we, we didn't have a fundraiser. Um, Everett Blodgett, our treasurer, petitioned, requested it from Home Depot. Okay. And it took a while, but finally Home Depot came through. They sent out a work crew from their company. People voluntarily came from Home Depot here in Reading oh, nice, and nice. built it. It's great. It's beautiful. So you're telling me for eight dollars a year, I could be a friend of Parker Tavern. You could be a friend of Parker Tavern for eight dollars a year, and then you could, and then you would get all our mailings. We send out an annual letter, and sometimes we send out postcards or email reminders when we're having events. Nice. Yeah. Um, and and so how can a person get involved? So once they become a friend, uh, what else can they do to 
become involved? Well, if they want to be involved more than just being a friend and coming to the events when they can, they can also, you know, join the board. We meet oh, every couple of months okay. to kind of plan what we're going to be doing for the year uh, or for the next few months. We do have a biannual meeting every fall. Usually um, this year it will be held at the senior center in the great room because you still used to be in the library, but it's be at the senior center again this nice. November. And every other year we have a holiday open house and the garden club decorates with um, things that, you know, would be like period. This year was all different kinds of fruit, nice. beautiful fruit displays. Um, okay, so once again, so what would the, what's the upcoming event? You have a big yes, event coming this on Saturday. this weekend? This Saturday. This Saturday from, uh, let's see, 9 to 3, okay. there's a colonial fair on the grounds of the tavern. The tavern will be open for tours, nice. and we're having a special exhibit in our special little exhibit room in the back of actual items from the Revolutionary War, a cannonball that was recently um, discovered in, yep. in a collection and picked up, nice. and uh, some other things, you know, that relate to the Revolutionary War from local people. Very good. And you have a website, Facebook page? We How do. How people get a hold of Friends of mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. And we also have a Facebook page, and uh, I guess that's it, yeah. All right. Well, Judy, thank you for your time. This has All been right. very thank interesting. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.